Then I throw on that first cat suit. Like, yeah, she's here. Figure it's on it. us. I'm blaming yeah. you for that. That's that's what it was. <laughs> that was hard, but I I got it though. Always want to do something for the culture. Hi, queens. Welcome back to Style Unlocked, where I sit down with our stylish face, talk through their personal style journey, rate some celebrity looks and play some fashion trivia. I hope these conversations help you unlock your personal style. Today's guest is a Tony and Grammy award-winning singer, actress, and all-star performer, playing roles in iconic Broadway musicals such as Sister Act, Pippin, and Into the Woods, to serving as queen, kingpin, and ultimate boss in Raising Canaan. Not only is she a multifaceted queen, but she's a stylish one at that, who infuses her personal style into every look she serves on the red carpet. Please help me welcome my next guest, actress, singer, wife, mother, and overall visionary, Patina Miller. Hey. Yay! Hi. Welcome, welcome to Style of Life. Thank you, ma'am. Before we get into it, tell us about your look. Um, just walk us through. You know, it's just She's sleek and chic, it's honey. She's sleek and chic. That's the name of the game for me always. I have a little ALC, ALC blazer. They make great blazers. And these, my, I've had these theory leathers for a long time, and I always feel like when you have a good leather, yeah. Like it'll last you a long time. YSL, some little YSL boots. Just a little, just a little something. Just a little, little background, okay. in case people are unfamiliar. I, I know you're not, but maybe not with all the credentials. Okay. So we'll get into a little bit of that. This is gonna be a fun one. Sure. Um, so where does your love of acting and performing stem from? Well, when I was a young girl, I grew up in a small town called Pageland, South Carolina. Mm. Super country, 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 country. I don't have the accent anymore. Oh, and did you? So, you lost yeah, it. Yes, I did, I had to. So my access to arts was basically through summer programs. Mm. And so I went to a performing arts camp when I was really young. Mm -hmm. And that is where I learned um, singing and I learned um, acting and stuff like that, small scale. And so I did my first show, Annie, from, oh, yeah, 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 I was Miss Hannigan and Annie. And it was there being on that stage that I realized that, oh my God. This is it. This is it, I would love to do this if I could. Yeah. And so my mom did some research. She's like, you know what, if this is what you wanna do, uh, we'll find a way for you to do it. And she Come found on. this boarding performing arts school in Greenville, South Carolina, where I went, I got into, I had to audition. Um, I auditioned, I got into this school, and um, that's where my everything happened for me. Fun fact, yeah. Danielle Brooks, Nicole Bahar, your faves. Yeah, yeah, Parrish, yeah, They've all been to the school, so I feel, yeah. you know, they really like- They were cranking out the talent. They were, they Was were. this a summer thing, or you know, this year round? This started as a summer program, but then they created a school year round that you could go to, so I moved away from home at 15. Uh, I started my acting That's journey. passion. Yeah, man. That's passion. Yeah. Like, how lucky to like find your thing. Yeah. At that yeah. age. I mean, that's why you're so good at it. Oh my gosh, stop. So, flush now. Um, what is the process like stepping into the characters you play? Uh, how do you get into the process? Yeah, I love it. Uh, and first off, yes, please, asking great questions. I Thank love you. this. Um, oh, so, can. the process for me basically is I always like to figure out characters. Um, how I'm a li how I'm like my characters, mm. whatever I can find that like I have some similarities to, and the things that how I'm not like my character. And so, if I can figure out the things where like I'm like them, mm -hmm. then it makes it easier for me to go into the places where I'm not necessarily like them, but I can kind of like understand something. Right, right, right. So I always love to bring myself to it, bring my own experiences, even if it's something small yeah. you know I, I latch on to it and it that's what gets me into my characters it has to be authentic yeah. it has to feel real and so whether it's the witch and into the woods the witch is a mom yeah you know what i mean who ah. wants so desperately to protect her child you just find that anything. piece I find like the piece you know what i mean rock is you know she's a mother who is doing a lot of questionable things but at the end of the day she loves her family she's a protector she's a protector yeah. Yeah. i know what those things she also wants better for herself mm -hmm. the power the like wants legacy for something so i can i know what that's like i know what it's like being a female you know in a business yeah. where you just want to do what you do yeah you know what i mean so i try to bring those different um things to the characters so that i there's honesty that's so inspiring um if you had to choose which one is your favorite performance arena tv and film i know i know oh. or theater slash Broadway because you mm. kill it on both. But which one, if you had to, if someone said you can only do one going forward, mm. is that hard? It's hard. Okay, just. Okay, but I will say the basis for all of my training is in the theater. Yeah. I think there is nothing like the theater. That what I love about the theater. Everybody can do theater. Not everyone can do theater. It's a very big thing. Um, it asks a lot of you. Mm -hmm. It's uh, 
there are no hundred takes. Yeah, you can't yeah. like mess up, do it again. You're in front of people, yeah. you know, you're on stage with lights, things can go wrong in the moment and it's how you, you think quick on your feet. Mm. If someone goes up on the line, the show still goes on. Yeah. So it makes you alert, it makes you alive. And there's also that thing with the audience that you yeah. get, you, you know? Get you get it's the, a the instant transfer. Yeah, 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 it is. And so I think that there is something so special about being in a space, seeing a performance that no one else is going to see. Yeah. Right. You'll do it again tomorrow yeah, yeah, for yeah. another audience. But whatever happened that night, yeah. whether it was something funny or something crazy, no one will ever see it. So it's like a, for me, I always say it's like a church experience. Mm. You go and you get moved and yeah. you feel things. And so I don't think I could. Not Theater good. will always be my yeah. my my I baby. I feel like it number. has to like make you sharp. Yes, because it's yes. just yes. on the fly. Again, anything can happen. Oh my god! Oh my god! And it's like the people who are expecting great, right? These people that are sitting in front yeah. of you. This is the only time they're going to see this. The only time they're going to. So see it's it. like you have to give your best, but like every time. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure. Yes, yeah, a lot of pressure. <laughs> it is a lot of pressure, but it does sharpen your instincts. It sharpens all of those things that you then take on to TV and film, yeah. right? Because I love my my theater training allows me to go into characters on tv mm -hmm. like raquel yeah. to really give it all and so i pull out my toolbox of yeah. all of these things that i do and i put them into the characters that i play on tv this one um what is it like being on set the production like power um has this been different yes. experience yeah. i feel like this is like cultural baby kind of <laughs> what has it been I've been different? ready for this. I mean, culturally, like, I always want to do something for the culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? I always feel like in my theater work and stuff like that, it wasn't as cultured as I would like it to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? When, you, when you're when you on stage, you're the, the lead, the black female lead in a show where really a lot of the faces around you are not like yours. Mm -hmm. And when you look out into an audience and, you know, you're doing this thing, you don't really see yourself reflected mm -hmm. or anything. And so it was really nice to come in to a universe that is always just, that it's already just so beautifully diverse. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The power universe and um, being around so many people that look like me in front of and behind the scenes, mm -hmm. men, women, you know what I mean? There's so many women in these really amazing roles, like directors, camera, like, you know, our executive producers. For me, that made me feel so confident. Yeah. You know what I mean? A bit in my, what I wanted to say. And also I'm playing this strong ass black woman mm. that I can get to. Our queen. You know what I mean? I wanted her to be three dimensional. I never wanted anyone to think that like, oh, they know who this character is. Yeah. I always wanted to like pull something out that like black women can be this, mm -hmm. you know, she can be this, she can be that, she can be sexy. She can be like crazy. Yeah. She yeah. A sociopath. She could be the devil. Literally. But you love her. Like, but why you do I like, like her? God, why you know what I mean? Why am I on her side? This is twisted. We're going to get into our first segment. It's a game. Okay. We love games here. <laughs> okay. um, and we made a special, we twisted a special one for you. So we have a game called Guess the Look, okay. which is basically where I show you a picture and you try to guess what it is. Okay. But we're doing musical movies for you. Okay. Because, you know, you know, oh, I feel like your wheelhouse. Come so on. We're, we're going to get into it. Okay. So this is our first one, and this is a little collage, but I thought it might be helpful. So you can hope this. I have it on my phone. The most throwback-ish. It's lazy. You're, you're close. I'm not lazy. You're, you're close. close. You're close. This looks you like Dorothy Dandridge. Okay. 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 This is Dorothy Dandridge. Okay. That is correct. That is correct. Okay, but I can't tell. Then, who is that? <laughs> I see, um, you know who it is. Ozzy Davis? No, no. Um, the other one. <laughs> oh! I feel like this is her most um, popular. Wait, I can't tell. This is not Carmen. This yes. is not. This is Carmen. This is Carmen. This is Carmen. Okay. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Okay. I think that's the hardest one. So that was please. hard, but I, Go ahead and I got it though. Got it. You got it. Swipe. Okay. Baby, dream girl. Okay. Come on now. Don't play with okay. me. Okay. That was easy. That was Don't easy. Play with me. This is, this is, this is yes. Moulin Rouge. Yes. Okay. Right you there. know that is. Okay. Now this is an oldie. <laughs> this is an oldie, but it's still, it's okay, I see I the leather jacket. Movie. Yeah. So it looks like it could be Grease, but it's not. But it's not. So, and um, this is also a very like, kitschy kind of movie. Kind of, like it, it's a, it's not as mainstream. But I personally used to love this movie when I was a kid. And it's a musical. It's a musical, but it's a movie. And it, this person is very famous. Because 
you really cut out that person's face. Yeah, I gave you Okay, is that Matt? No, that's, um, um, this? Who is this? Tell me who that is. Oh, I don't know. You know who else is in here? Um, Ricky Lake. And it's not, like, but yeah, obviously she's very young. She's thinking, Ricky Lake, is this? This is, I don't even know if y'all know this. No, wait. I'm just gonna tell you. Oh, you're talking about, this is Crybaby. Crybaby? You oh, know you know that movie. Especially no okay. Crybaby. Oh my God. I used to love that movie. Oh, Crybaby is a good one. And Johnny Depp one. is actually really great. Yeah, yeah. And it's really so, like, great in it's it. It's very kitschy though. It's oh like, God. okay, listen. Okay, like Crybaby. <laughs> yes. That was hard. That was, oh, okay. Bye. Okay. That one was hard. Sorry about that. <laughs> I mean, the wig. Okay, okay. See, it's so fun. Like, that's Look. barely anything and you got that. Cancel me if I couldn't get this one I right. Know. Those eyes? I know. <laughs> this is, um, that looks like, this looks like Chicago. It is Chicago. Now, this is a newer one, girl. And <laughs> who's this? You really gotta, like, look at this, like, what it's encompassing. Okay. Because um, none of the main people greatest are showman? in this. Yes. Not Greatest Showman. Yes. Greatest Showman? Definitely, she is so hard. <laughs> Honey, that's fame. That's fame. Uh, Come on, that's it. She's a winner. Sweating, please. Oh my God. Is that stressful? That was that's stressful for me, yes. Oh my God. Like Crazy your acting God. card was on the line. I mean, I mean, God, it really was. You did amazing, sweetie. All right, let's get into the personal style. Okay. Describe your style in three words. Uh, I think uh, effortless. Yes, yes. I would say chic, mm -hmm. relaxed. Mm. I love that. I love that. Because you always look chic, but you also always look comfortable. Yes. And like, I have to be comfortable. You're not trying that hard. It's just yeah. the, the try hard are... thing for the end. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, who's your fashion icon? My fashion icon? And this could be throughout life, maybe when you were younger or now, or just who do you look to that like makes you want to put that shit on, makes you want to just get excited about fashion. You know, I always like street street style wise. Mm -hmm. I do love like I do love Riri. Yeah, I think I like her because she takes ch chances mm -hmm. and she always does like, you know, her own thing. Yeah, she kind of does it. But then like pulled up wise style. Um, do you know this girl, uh, Pernille? Tess Beck. Yes. 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 I like her mm -hmm. styles very Th like. That I could see that. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's very clean. Clean. Yep. I love clean. Yeah. Um, I like. Uh, That's a good one. That's a good one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Who's like inspiring me? Like, yeah, killing this. You. Hello. Thanks, friend. You pull it out. I'm not just saying that. You like. Thank you. You. Are you just like have to take it out there? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're so I'm dope. Good, I'm, I'm You're thank so dope. You. Oh, thank yes. You. Okay. Well, I said it. <laughs> Um, I am, I am, I am. Uh, what's your go-to outfit formula? You got somewhere to be, you need to look good, the outfit you always know. You gonna gonna go to yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's gonna be either leathers. This I'm wearing my go-to. You really basically. are. Basically. You really are. I think a nice blazer, um, a crop top, whether it's like a, you know, a tank or um, or like a nice little shirt. So I, it's like a nice little shirt or a tank, some nice skinny jeans, or if I don't want to wear skinny jeans, I have a trouser that mm -hmm. I like. I'm either going to do a trouser with like a Jordan mm -hmm. or a heel mm -hmm. and a nice blazer. So that's where I think I feel like if I have somewhere to go to like. That's the look. Yeah. It kind yeah. of takes you anywhere too. Yes, it does. First luxury purchase. Do you remember? Yes. Ooh. My first luxury purchase were some Le Boutons from eBay. Oh, mm -hmm. you're a smart shopper. Oh, yes, honey. I stayed up all night trying to like Were win. you bidding on them? Oh, Ooh. yeah. I was bidding. <laughs> I was bidding because that was like my first like luxury item gotcha. that I bid on. Um, I think my big, my big purchase item. But, you know, the first one is what you always remember the first yeah. thing. And it was right after I was in London doing a leading my first show. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? I would really love these shoes. Um, I tried it out. And so I went on eBay. I got them for a great price. And then like a month later, I went and got an LV bag. Mm -hmm. So that was like my we, Two, that kind of be like the true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you like, were like, I'm going in a like store. Like I spent the coin. And yeah, and was like here. 
I got it. Like, yeah. I'm just going to go nice. find. Yeah, you always remember that first moment. Yes, yes. I remember mine. It was also a bag. It was a bag? What yeah, bag? it was a Balenciaga City bag. Okay, baby. It was literally the only bag I always I know. Yeah, yeah. And I was just like, I know I have enough money yep. that I can go buy this bag. Yes. Without, like, asking too many questions. Yeah. Like, I know. Oh, yeah. I got plenty. Yes, honey. Yeah, it was my first time in um, Neiman Marcus, too. Was it really? Yeah. In my mind, I don't know if this was just like growing up in St. Louis, like, I just thought everything was for like rich people. 100%. So I just didn't even go and store, like, yeah. I was just like, oh, well, I don't you have to be there. thousands of dollars. Yep. So, like, I didn't, it makes no sense. I know, I know. But I just didn't go Same. in certain stores. No. Nope. Yeah. What's one piece of advice you would give to someone trying to find their personal style? I think you have to try everything. I think you need to just try things, yes. right? And that's how you find your style, you know? Because I've been through some moments with a lot of different things. And I think, like, it was so nice to sort of settle on what makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. And whether other people like it or not, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like not being afraid to try things. Things will work. Some things won't. But when you can think to yourself, like, how does this make me feel? Mm -hmm. Do I look in the mirror and think, like, damn, yeah. I look good as hell? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, did that's... You, Do you feel like that came with age? It did. It did come with age because yeah. you're, you're so, I feel like when you're young, you're so worried about what others think of oh, you. You're so easily swayed. You're easily swayed. Like, oh, do they like it? Do they not like it? Yeah. Oh, oh, I guess I have to like try and fit in. Yeah. And really the real tea is, is not fitting in. That is my favorite thing about getting older. Yes. I'm just like, you literally can't tell me shit. <laughs> and it's not, it's not about like, no, nope. thinking I'm the best dressed person in the world. Nope. It's just nope. like. I just know what I like. You know what you so like. So it doesn't matter. Yep. You could hate this outfit. It's. I promise it's okay. 100%. I'm like, oh, I totally get why you don't like it. Because yeah. it's not for you. Not for you. It's, it's for me. It's totally and That's fine. great. Favorite look Raquel has worn. My favorite. Do you have one? Girl, they've been so many. I know. I um, know. Do you have I, one where you like? I do. I I really did love the uh, Versace yeah. look. The the jean the jean jacket. The Versace jean jacket was with that, the white. Was, was that uh, this season? It was this season. Okay, I'll find it. You'll see. Um, you'll see in it. With the white with the white boots on. Oh. Then I love the red. The red Versace. She wears a lot of Versace and Alaya. Yeah. It was like the, it was like the vest, the red vest with yes, the red I, silk. Yes, I know that one. With the chaps. Yeah. That was. It was a. It, that's when I thought, oh, this is different. <laughs> this is. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's like truly second season is when I was like when I when she gave that Sige White who was our costume designer is just gets it. She. She is. We'll put her on the screen because my to. God, she's amazing and she gets and she loves fashion and she loves vintage and she wants rock to feel so just fly she like nobody is touching fly. her no one's touching her so you know i can't I mean? even imagine the amount of like research and curation she she's researches, doing researches does she do the cast or just yeah her? no she does the oh, cast because it's everybody job. everybody yeah. and everybody's so specific and so unique but i'm just she like spends the time <laughs> you know oh. she spends that time really like researching these characters yeah. and she works with collaborates with the actors on how they feel Ooh, and so we okay. all come together and, and she brings us these looks that are just amazing. Yeah. Now it's time for a game, and this one is a new one called, Who Said That? Okay. Who Said That? Y'all know what I'm referencing. Um, so I'm gonna name a movie. These are like fashionable movies, but I feel like also kind of underrated. So hopefully that'll give you a little hint. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm gonna say a phrase, and you try to guess the movie. Okay? okay. First one. This is an easy one, I think. She said easy, okay. You are the perfect verse over a tight beat. That sounds like familiar. That yeah. could be. I got a backup Love too. Jones. It's that not very close, it but it's, right. the vibes are right the there. Vibes are there. I got one more, and I feel like you may get it with this one. You want to? You want a second one? Yeah, come on, come on. Come on. You want a phone a friend? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. When did you fall in love with hip hop? <laughs> you, you get something. Nia, that, that that that's 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 it's not, so Nia, it's not Nia. It's not Nia interviewing. Not. Um, you really? This is not. This is not Love Jones right now. No, but it is really. Oh, in the same, it's really in the same vein. I know. Are y'all screaming it? Are y'all screaming it? They're probably screaming like, They're "Girl, do you screaming. know what this Please. is?" Please. I got one more. Oh God, I'm terrible. And at I'm gonna these. do that. I just I'm like to say I'm whole... terrible at these. What are we celebrating? My divorce. That's, that's all I got. I made it. I'm, I got the wood. I'm just like. Okay. <laughs> It's that guy. <laughs> it's not Morris. It's Morris. No. It's uh the other one. It's Tay. Yes. It's Tay D. Yes. And it's not. 
is not how Stella got a groove back because that's the young one. But this exactly. is this is grown because hey. they've, they've made a ton of movies of this one, right? Like he didn't they make a couple sequels with no, no, no. Oh, you are just you're not even close. I'm, I'm gonna give close. it to you. Give it to me, Go. Brown Sugar. Come on, what? You know that movie? Yes, I know that movie. Okay. Sheesh. Wait. Yeah. You're the perfect person. Sanaa. 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 You were Sanaa. You were Sanaa. Yeah, the Sanaa. people. Yeah, like they were all doing their thing. Like. I saw where you were going. Your mind was oh really. God. God. Trivia, movie trivia is not my thing. Okay. It's okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I'm so Who cares? Scared. I mean. Let's do it. Come on. Okay. Come on. Oh, God. <sighs> this is a very popular movie. Sweaty. Okay. I'm just one stomach full away from my goal weight. <laughs> she looks like she wants to stab me. Oh my God. And it's, it's not Sarah. <clears throat> it's not what? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell me, tell me. The devil wears Prada. Prada, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy hell. I'm literally the worst. Okay, sister. We don't many of these. I so, am the worst um, at trivia. Give me a photo all day. I got uh, the next one. You have to get. Oh my god. You have to. Oh my god. Oh it's my god. god. You ready? No. Uh, get ready. Clearly not. Right, let me touch Jesus. my hand when I say this. Say baby. Can I be a slave? <laughs> Why don't you start out with them? At least start <laughs> out with Love Jones. You could have started with that one. Love Jones. Good job. And then Ooh, I would have been in my have oh, I would have been in my groove. Like, you know, Love Jones, we hit Nia. And then the next one, when did you fall in love with him? Okay. I could have been okay. like, oh, brown sugar. It's on us. Do you it's know on what us mean? for sure. I'm yeah, blaming yeah. you for that. That's, that's what it was. Like, okay. what? Um, okay, that's one way to go. Um, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Devil Wears Prada. I mean, that was like, here's the thing. We use Devil Wears Prada a lot, so I really had to get go into the, you know, deep. I can yeah, give you an easy one. That was a good one. That was a good one. Okay, we got one more. Oh no, we got a few more actually. Oh, good God. Okay. <clears throat> and I try to give you a range, so that's the other thing. You can't really like stay in one pocket. I can't stay in one pocket. Unfortunately, I'm so sorry, because that wouldn't be fair. Um, exercise gives you endorphins. Endorphins make you happy. Happy people just don't shoot their husbands. They just don't. Happy people just don't shoot their husbands. They, they just, just don't. don't. Is that Chicago? No. But this is, um, let's do charades. Let's just <laughs> act it out for me. Okay, she's in court. Okay, she's in court. And she is um, cross-examining someone. Okay? Yeah, okay. 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 Set the scene. So she's like... You were exercising. Don't... You were exercising? So you just came back from it? Like... Okay. Exercise makes people happy. Right. Happy people just don't shoot their husbands. So she clearly didn't do this. Right. She didn't. She was framed. So she didn't... <laughs> <laughs> so much about you right now. <laughs> right. She was framed. Right. Right. So, don't shoot so her husband. keep in mind these are fashion, like the, the, the movie, movies. they're not, yeah, fashion. but these are fashionable movies, fashionable right? Fashionable movies. So think about like, when was there a lawyer in a fashionable movie? When there was a lawyer, a lawyer in a fashion I'm giving you, movie. I'm giving you two fun. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more hint, one more hint. There's a lot of pink in it. Well, a lot of pink. Oh my God, that's Reese Witherspoon. That is um, Legally Blonde. Okay. Bravo. She just had to say pink. You just had to say pink. I just had to give you all the fucking answers. <laughs> you just had to say pink. Gotcha, so sorry. <laughs> just pink. Okay, next okay. one. Okay. The secret is you gotta coordinate. No, don't. You gotta coordinate. You gotta coordinate. You gotta coordinate. The secret Look at is you me. gotta coordinate. I'm playing trace. I'm opening my jacket. You gotta, you, gotta you gotta coordinate. You see this matches this? You gotta coordinate. You gotta coordinate. Look at your daddy. He got the matching tie, the matching shirt. Come on, matching. keep acting. Come keep on, acting. Now. I'm loving it. I'm keep acting. Keep acting. It. What's the rest of the scene? What's the rest okay. of the scene? He comes out the bathroom. This is a man. Okay. So look like that shirt, Mr. Such and Such. Hey. He's like, oh, I got the matching belt and the socks. And, and then he shows him the inside of his jacket. And he's matching. So he's the secret matching. is, you, you gotta coordinate. Got coordinate. This is a classic. I know y'all know this. This is a classic. You sure they know it? You just gotta coordinate? You just gotta. They black it. folks? Yes. Okay. <laughs> they black folks. And. I'm done with you. I will never play a game with you. <laughs> just blink if 
Just give me a, you can't whisper, the mic's right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to cheat. She I am cheat. terrible. Oh, when I say it's not that, no, but see, come on. There could have been another one. <sighs> That's not fair. That's, That's not, not fair. fair. Cause like, no, do you remember the part? No, nope. the dad. John with his spoon? No. Oh, yes. Yes. You remember the yes, part? Yes, 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 in, yes, yes. They're, in the, they're having Thanksgiving dinner, I think. You, you know where I'm saying. So you, you, I see it now. Okay. I see it now. Well, I'm blaming you. I'm blaming you because I need you to act more, okay? Come on, more. Janae. I need okay. you to act. This is the last one. <clears throat> I'm two, two, you two were for ten, right? <laughs> it wasn't ten. It was six. You're one for six. I, mean, I got two. Love okay. jokes. Uh -huh. and, and Legally Bond? Uh Okay. Okay. No, really? I'm gonna give it to you. Technically, you could give that one to me. This okay. is a... I'm not gonna stop saying they're easy. Okay. They're not easy. They're not yeah. easy. They're good. We made them good. You're good at this. You're These really good at this. aren't spirit fingers. These are spirit fingers. That's, is that bring it on? Yeah, okay. Thank God. But that was iconic. You, okay. You see, you did spirit fingers until you said... I really gave it to you. you so three for three. You kind of... No, no. Okay. I'm really upset with that boomerang one, though. I'm really upset with that one. You know what? I'm upset with that. Uh, Who that Devil's with? Wear Prada one. I'm yeah, upset that with myself. One. That was a good one. But you know, that could have been like, mm, that's all. Yeah, but that's too easy. What? No, it's season two. We're stepping it up on season two. Okay, next segment. It's time for questions from the queens. Okay. So these are questions from my community on YouTube, okay. on Instagram. They knew you were coming, girl, and they got step. They yeah. know. Yes, okay. this is. I'm gonna tell you the person and everything. Okay. Okay. First question is from the AJ effect. She says, "Patina!" Oh. Exclamation. <laughs> um, her character epitomizes the swag of the boss women of that era. She stands on business. And what's the piece that she would wear in real life? Oh. Has there been a piece where you're like? Can I have this? No. Yeah, there was this one Chanel, there's this one Chanel uh, dress that I wore when she is with Cartier looking at the art. There's Ooh, a, I love that little scene. Chanel dress. Uh -huh, I'm that. like, I would wear that out That's right now. Piece. At what moment did you realize you were that girl? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? Yo, stop. Stop, stop it. it. What's her name, Megan? Yes, this is Megan. Stop, mm -hmm. Megan. Stop, um, girl. Stop it. You know what? It's not. I don't know if I, I realize I'm that girl, but I know Rock is that girl. And I think from the second that I like put on the the hair, the makeup, and then I throw on that first cat suit and those stiletto boots, I was like, yeah, she's here. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is it. This is, this this is different. Is, this is different. Yeah. There's, there's nobody like her. On sets as a black woman, what is non-negotiable for you? Is there one tip you would also want to pass down to your daughter? So, um, two. That's well, so two that's first. two. Uh, well, the first, you know, I must always have someone who knows, obviously. Luckily, I don't have this issue anymore. But being a black woman on set, there needs to be someone who is versed in lighting Ooh. dark skin because oh, lighting oh. is everything. It is everything. Um, you know, hair when it when it, in terms of glam mm -hmm. and things like that, having people who are well versed in your hair and your skin being able to make you look as beautiful as everyone else. Mm. So that was like the the big thing for me. Have early. you ever experienced lighting? I've experienced that. So yes. I really know. And I feel like that may be something people wouldn't think yeah. about, but yeah, it, yeah, makes yeah. A huge it makes difference. a huge difference. And you see something and you're like, that's not how I look. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, like some earlier stuff that I did where I happened to be like the only person of color and you would see everyone else lit around you. Mm -hmm. And so you would look at it, go back and be like, why do I look ashy? Yeah. Why? Why? Literally, what? I'm gray. I'm gray. I'm gray right now. What yeah. is the point of this? And it's just like, you know, having people to have your back. So for me, I have to feel protected all around. And, and on this show... I am very much protected and my best interests are always looked out for. Amazing. And then what piece of style advice would you pass down to your daughter? I think we already talked about it. I think I was just, you know, being yourself, you know what I mean? Like finding the way that you find your style is to, like we were just saying, experiment mm -hmm. and putting on what makes you feel good. Like my daughter now, she likes to dress herself oh. and I try to come and be like, you know, maybe you should. She's like, no, I like it because it makes me feel good. Mm. And I'm like, okay, oh. sis, well, you know, you have them plaid and then there's pink and there are, there's a lot of different things, but it's whatever feels good to you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think like, you know, you can grow. Like obviously, like we were talking about as you get older, like your style changes. Yeah. 
Um, and just for her, I just want her to feel confident in herself. Hmm. That's the biggest I thing. I love that. Okay, so I love Patina. This is from Shalama. Okay. Shalima. Hi. Um, I love Patina in Raising Canaan and Madam President. What, which of her character's style is closest to hers? So maybe out of all of your roles, has there ever been someone where you're like, this is kind of me? I would have to say, you know, Rock put it on, but if you go back and look at Madam Secretary, Daisy was putting it on as well um, in her own way. Um, you know, I I would say a, a hybrid, right? There are mm -hmm. certain things, like there was looks that Daisy wore in the office that obviously like pencil skirts and, you know, blouses and really easy stuff that I really loved, mm -hmm. you know? And there was again, another costume designer who loved me mm -hmm. and wanted me to feel as confident and as beautiful. Yeah. And, you know, I was sort of like the stylish mm -hmm. person at the State Department. You know what I mean? My character was the press secretary. Yeah. So she really liked the suits that I got to wear were all suits that I would wear out. Mm -hmm. So I would say both are somewhat like my style. I mm. mean, rock, you know, that 80s. Yeah. You know. As an 80s baby. You know, it's like. It's like your. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I probably wouldn't wear cat suits everywhere. Yeah. But <laughs> somewhere. But somewhere. Three beauty items you can't live without. My top three beauty items that I cannot live without. My high frequency wand. Mmm. You know, I'm a I'm a I'm a beauty girl. Um, I would say my um red. My that um, LED mask. My LED oh, mask. You're really on it. I am, I am, I love the tools. Interesting. And probably one of my um my face scraper. Oh yeah, she's she's not even giving you products. I ain't even she's giving you tools. I'm giving tools. I could go for some products too though. <laughs> if they want my three products. But give us three products. Okay. But the tools, I'm fascinated that you feel like they make a difference. Oh my yeah. god. Oh Which yeah. Most difference. What the makes the most difference one. is someone's one. Um, let's say so if you have like if you're dealing with inflammation, like a uh, acne or whatnot, mm -hmm. um, just all the tips and tricks I've read and I've done myself is the the frequency one. Mm. You know, that's really good for those I have those. done that. Not myself though, but I have yeah, done yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I I that was that's my newest thing mm. that I put into my regimen. But what I would say is a good serum. Mm. Um, for me and a good mask and it would be a good cleanser. Mm. You want to know the names of I those do. cleansers? Give it to us. Salma Biolo Recherche Biologique Recherche I love the VR products. Um, I love their P50 1970 serum. It is, great about it is hardcore. Um, it has changed my skin. I have been a, a BR girl for like five years mm. and it has really changed the texture of my skin. Mm. And I love their serums. Um, Environ, I love in the the beauty environment. Do you know Environ? I don't. I'm gonna need you to send me all of I will, I will. I'll send those. Well. I mean, I'm looking right at it. Stop. <laughs> Stop. And a good moisturizer. And always sunscreen. Black girl sunscreen. And always sunscreen. Yes. Black girl sunscreen is my sunscreen. All right. And then we're going to end with name a time when. This is when we reflect. Okay. Name a time when you were nervous about playing a role or character. Oh my God. Name a time. Okay. I'm always nervous. The thing is, the secret with, with actors, we're always nervous, really? right? Because we want to be good. We mm. want to, we want to do so well yeah. you know what I mean and so I always feel like if I'm not nervous about any character that I play then it's not the character mm. for me I want to do roles that make me uh, nervous that make me a little afraid mm -hmm. because then I can start to tap in mm. to, to, to everything you know like when you're out of your comfort zone and when you feel nervous is when you I feel like just some experience you get the best product wow. you do your best you know and it's I feel like there was so much nervousness also because you do roles where you don't it's hard to gauge the like Success. Yeah. You know, you're oh, yeah. just playing someone. Yeah. There's no way to be like, oh, she's on the right track. Totally. You know, it's just totally. like, hopefully they get you it. You just or have to, the, someone said to me, don't be afraid to jump off the cliff, right? Yeah. Like with acting, um, it's just really getting to a place where you can just free fall, right? And and not worry about the landing, but we're in the free fall is where you find out things about yourself, yeah. where you find out things about your character and and stage really lends itself to me doing that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. exercising that. But, you know, obviously, a nervous first performance of Pippin. I remember as the leading player, I heard the audience 
out there and I knew the curtain was going up and that I was going to have to get on a trapeze way up in the air at the beginning. And so that was one specific yeah. time that I was nervous of like, and my hands are sweating and I'm like, okay, I know I need to not wear a harness and my first entrance into the show, mm -hmm. I have to hold something. I have to be in the air yeah. on a trapeze yeah. doing like, like the whole act. So that was a time really that I was nervous is doing that's that. A good one. Uh, name a time when you were so in love with your outfit and look that you didn't want to take it off. Ooh. Okay, so I would say name a time where I was so. You get to wear some fun stuff. Do get to wear some fun stuff, but I want to say the night that I won my Tony, mm -hmm. I wore Zach posing gown. Oh, he makes um, amazing. He does. He make makes clothes for women. He sure does. And that is just you, either you do or you don't. Either you do or you don't. And he knows. And it was so elegant, so regal, but so sexy. Um, and I'll never forget, like being hair my name called and actually not just from the moment I put it on and I yeah. got out of the car to be on the red carpet and I just fell oh. my confidence yeah you know what I mean you just know you like this is how I like I didn't even know I could look this good no. this is everything I wanted it to be and I remember I wanted to sashay to every party after <laughs> in that <laughs> gown. what's next what is next what else can I go to oh I was like and it was a lot of gown too but I felt so beautiful oh I love that you guys would be seeing it on the screen name a time when you were excited to try something new Hmm. Maybe time is if I try something new. Uh, well, you know, I decided that I wanted to run a marathon. I know. <laughs> Last year, while filming a TV show and being on stage, it's just I decided, not enough, like, know. why? Why not add one more thing? Why not add a whole marathon? Like, I have an extra two hours. You know, why not four, girl? Oh, four. 441. That was my first this year. It was four hours. And how long was this marathon? This marathon was 26.2 miles. Wow. That's an amazing time, I've done it though. Twice. Yeah. It, I personally that, feel like it is. Yeah. It would take me 26 hours. Oh, <laughs> stop. Uh, name a time when you felt really proud of yourself. Name a time when I felt really proud of myself. You know, I think with this role, I'm pretty proud of myself with Raquel and, mm -hmm. and just the, the, when I hear the DMs that I get about how this character has like touched people mm -hmm. and like, you know, it makes me feel like I'm doing my part, makes me feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to do is what mm -hmm. I've always wanted to do is make people happy and make people uh, want to feel all of these different things about what they're watching. And so like when I hear people and women who come up to me and like love the show yeah. and love Raquel and how like Raquel makes them feel like strong yeah. and like powerful and beautiful and when someone says to me like you're representing for the chocolate girls you yeah it makes me feel yes. great that makes me feel super super proud and like i'm just proud that i didn't give up i'm proud that i have continued to push myself um to stay in this uncomfortable space and not let no's mm. uh affect my work right mm -hmm. like you because you're gonna hear no a lot in this business, but I didn't let that uh, hinder me. I, I let it fuel me. Yeah. And so with all of that, I've been able to be blessed to do some amazing things because I put myself into it. And you just still, you're just on fire. I'm, I mean, it's like you've done a lot, but it's still a lot. Yeah, still a lot left to, to do. do. Yeah. Oh yeah, this, I'm just getting started. I know. Yeah. Tell me about a time you felt, well, you felt as if you had arrived. This is kind of what we were just talking about. Yeah, yeah. Now and future and past, yeah. and you literally had like a million moments. Yeah, you know, but <laughs> there is that whole thing where you never really fully feel like you've arrived, yeah. right? And I think that's when we were talking about pushing ourselves, like striving. Because I'm always, when I get this moment, it's like, okay, how can I be better, right? Like I'm doing something. So I never feel like I've arrived. Because mm -hmm. if I feel like I've arrived, then that, for me personally, I don't, it's as if I'm okay with. Yeah, with yeah, yeah. Like now we're, what else is there? Now it's like, what else yeah. is there? So I'm always, I've been very fortunate to have some really great things happen in my career at a young, at a young age. And so now for me, it's like, I don't ever want to feel like I've arrived because then it's like, well, like you just said, what's yeah. next? And to me, I'm constantly trying to like get that next big, mm -hmm. big role. Like, you know what I mean? There's so many different people that I'd love to work with mm -hmm. and do film and do all these really wonderful things. So I haven't arrived yet. I love that. Well, that's the end of our show. What? This is fun. I'm so happy to hear that. We aim to please. Yes, honey, y'all doing it. Where can everyone find you if they don't know? 
Well, and what else can we see you in? What's coming up? What's going on? All the things. Okay, couple things. <laughs> so uh, you can find me on Instagram on at Patina Miller, TikTok. TikTok. I think it's Patina Miller. <laughs> It'll be on the screen. It'll be on the screen, y'all. <laughs> and on X. Tina Miller as well, third season of Raising Canaan is out right now, so Woo-hoo. hopefully you'll be able to see that. And I'm also doing an R-rated animated musical comedy on Amazon Prime called Has Been Hotel. Ooh. Um, it's a hellish comedy, and I play an angel called Sarah. You oh, might God. hear me sing. That's, that sounds so fun. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. Any more singing coming yes. up? Yes. Yes, there will. I'm Because I'm not missing that next time. No, no, you're not. And I will let you okay. know. Okay. Um, so now I have a couple of concerts and stuff that will be coming up. So stay tuned. Go to my... Yes, make sure you follow her. Yes, so you can yes. Be up to date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's a songstress as well. Yes, I and am. And I'm artist. working on my own music, so... There you go. Well, yeah. this was a hell of a way to kick off season two of Silent Lock. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for having me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.